In this video, guys, we're gonna talk about moving time frame as a trader. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate all your support. So this is similar to a podcast I did a recent podcast where I talked about are you shackling yourself to one time frame. The reason I did that and the reason I want to do a more focused video for you guys is that I've seen a few people now made the conscious decision to adjust time frame and for valid reason. So we've got to be careful that we're not chasing around like a headless chicken. Done videos on that before, talked about this before. In other words, hey, you're there, you're trading, our oh, gold's not working, I'm gonna trade oil. Oh, oil's not working, I'm gonna trade forex. Oh, it's not working, I'm gonna trade. Oh, scalping's not working, I'm gonna day trade. And you go round and 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 nothing happens and you get nowhere and you feel like you've spent a year doing absolutely nothing, it's cost you money, you've learned nothing. That's not what we wanna do. However, a conscious shift from one time frame to another, let's say you are scalping and you wanna to move to swing trading. I know we've missed out day trading in the middle there, but that conscious shift is based on you've stuck with this for a period of time. Okay, you've stuck with scalping and you've said, right, I'm scalping, I've not had the results I want. However, that's not what I'm using as a signal to move here. I'm using a different signal. This is the key part. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, right, I don't always have time to be in front of the screen. I feel rushed. I feel pressured to do this. I struggle with uh, trading, uh, trading uh, different position size on the fly. I struggle with those quick decisions. Okay, so to fix those, what would I need to do? Okay, I'd either have to overcome those by getting more time, being better at making decisions on the fly, doing this, doing that, or the other option is to say, okay, do I take the skills I've learned with the shorter time frame and move them to a higher time frame? So you immediately leave it at a time you don't have to be in front of the screens all the time, so that might tick that box. You immediately get rid of, not necessarily immediately, but you reduce the pressure you have to make a risk-based decision immediately, like you do with scalping, risk-based decision, make it, make it, make it, you've missed it. You know, if you haven't made the decision quick and sharp, you've missed it. And you either get better at that, or you say, okay, is there a different thing to do? And moving over to the swing siding thing, so you transfer those skills over. Now, this is a calculated decision. In fact, there's a couple of them now who've made a conscious decision to shift timeframes. And not necessarily such a brutal shift from scalping to swing, but maybe fewer trades, maybe making these adjustments. And um, you know, some people do make a shift and say, you know what, day trading, it, it, it doesn't fit the style of trader I want to be. I can either push and push and push, and I'm sure I'll get somewhere, or I can make a complete shift in my approach, move the skills that I've got, recalibrate and trade on a, in a different manner. And it might be that you go back the other way. You might say, you know what, swing, and I've seen this as well. Guys, people say I'm swing trading, but I'm not getting enough iterations of, of, of trades or frequency of trades to learn from. Let me add a day trading uh, business to, to, to my trading business or side to my trading business and the swing trading and they combine them. So you, it's interchangeable. The point is, and I've said in the podcast is, don't shackle yourself to one time frame. say, well, I'm definitely a day trader, different day trader. That's so skills are interchangeable. The stuff that you've learned day trading and looking at price action day in, day out, hour, hour after hour, on the four hour, the hour or 15 minute, the one minute, can be used on the higher time frames. It's just a different pace. It's a different rhythm. You're gonna make mistakes, but it's the same process, auction process, supply, demand, imbalances, trading off those flags, those pulses, those fake outs, those range break fakes, all that kind of stuff that you know and love on the lower time frames. It's just slightly higher. And how it fits in with your lifestyle is key because this is the thing that we have as traders, guys. And this is the challenge we have as traders. Not everybody can go, right, I'm trading full time. I'm, I've got X amount of money to put into this. I'm okay, I can do this for a couple of years and see how it goes. Some people are, and that's a great position to be in. And some people have that luxury. But most people are doing something else. They're in a job, they're maybe they're consulting, they run a business, whatever it is, and then they need to do that. And they're kind of pushing trading up in parallel to see how that works. Now, whether it's gonna, they've got an idea that's going to take over, the trading's gonna take over what they do at the moment in the future, or it's just a supplementary thing they're trying to generate wealth. They're trying to just create some, uh, a decent amount of money as opposed to sticking in a, in a bank or whatever it may be. The point is, is that we have 
lifestyle commitments. We have stuff that will demand and uh, demands on us from day to day life, not only from that, from family and other things. So sometimes it's just logistically very, very hard to trade the way you want. I mean, the markets open at the time they open, they close at the time they close. If, for example, you're on a school run in the morning at 8 a.m., the market's opening at 8 a.m., you can't trade the open. And that's the most lucrative time potentially for a day trader. Now, can you make it work by trading the close or can you, you probably can and you'll find a way, but is it easier to say, hey, well, why don't I swing trade stuff? Why don't I come back and I've got the time, a few hours to assess, look at how the open's behaved. And maybe you even day trade, but slightly differently. You go, okay, I wanna see the opening drive. I wanna assess, maybe pick a few trades, take the trades and I look to close them at the end of the day. Maybe that's the way you trade it. So you just adjust and adapt rather than get their frustration. Cause it, it, we all get this because you're like, ah, frustrated. I wanted to trade this, it was so open. Something else has taken my attention. I've got to do this, I've got to do that. And that's not a way to live anyway. You know, you don't want to be throwing all everything else under a bus, throwing the family under a bus, throwing, not literally, <laughs> throwing uh, meaningful relationships under the bus, throwing uh, your career under a bus or, or work or whatever, all those other things, your health, all those other things that need to be in part of your life just to trade. There's a way that you have the pie chart and you have time for all of them. Now that's not always equal. Sometimes that adjusts and adapts depending on what's going on. Sometimes you have more trading time, sometimes you have less, sometimes you have more family time, sometimes you have less, etc. Then don't have to go into that. I did a top, uh, actually did a podcast on that as well. I'm sure I've done a video on that as well before. Um, so let's not digress too much. But the point is, is that you match your trading with your lifestyle. You don't let it run you. And if it can't fit in, then find a way around it. Don't get frustrated by it and keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing and trying to make it work. Find a solution. It might not be going from scalping to swing. It might just be, okay, I've got a focused amount of time. Or it might be. But you, the point is, you don't have to shackle yourself to one particular time frame. You can move time frame. Your job as a trader is just to make money. Manage risk, make money. That's it. Now, whether you made money on a one minute time frame or you've made it on a daily time frame, doesn't matter. The bank manager doesn't question you and say, excuse me, sir, that half million you've just deposited, was that from one minute time frame or the daily time frame? Because if it's from a daily time frame, I can't take it. I'm joking, guys, but you get the point. Uh, you don't need to put yourself in that box. If you need to move from time frame, the skills are interchangeable. They are interchangeable, whatever time frame you're trading. And if that was going to work better for you, you're going to feel freer, you're going to be able to be more of a rounded person then it's worth exploring. As long as, go right at the beginning of the video, you're not just chasing your tail and doing it just because your performance is not there. It's not a performance related decision, it's a lifestyle related decision. Take care guys, appreciate all your support as always. Bye bye.